Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Weapon Strip. I am your host, Tazzy Cookie, and this week's episode is featuring around the M249, courtesy of Over9000 for leaving the comments and getting eight thumbs up. So I'm going to give you my thoughts and my opinions on how this weapon handled throughout the week. But first and foremost, let's talk about the statistics. The magazine capacity is 100 rounds. The fire rate is 800 rounds per minute. The fire type is full auto, of course, and the reload time is 6.2 seconds. The damage is 25% at 8 meters and then dropping down to 17% at 50 meters. Now, I really want to touch base on the reload time. What I found throughout the week was that I was reloading even if I did have, say, 120 bullets in my magazine. The reason being is because I'm not so much of a light machine gun gunner. I'm more of an assault rush type player and a uh, submachine gun type player. So for the not being familiar with an LMG, um, I was reloading quite frequently when I still had a lot of bullets in my magazine. And what happens when you reload? You die. If you're not taking the, uh, the correct cover, you're going to find yourself, you know, with your pants down, like I've always said, and you're going to die. So make sure to take cover when reloading this light machine gun because it does take almost seven seconds to reload the mag. Um, but keep in mind as well that you don't have to reload frequently as much as you would with an assault rifle or any type of other weapon in the game. Um, another thing that I found that was kind of annoying, I don't know, it maybe just happened to me and maybe it was just... On my end of the spectrum but I found myself dying quite frequently if I was in head-to-head -head combat with another enemy and he wasn't even maybe 10 or 15 meters away maybe it's just because of the fact that um, the type of weapon I was using got outgunned by my enemy's weapon but another thing I kind of thought was maybe it's because the enemy was farther away than 50 meters and my bullet damage was dropped down to 15 or 16 or 17 percent um, so keep those um, that in mind as well while using the M249 because you want to engage your targets accordingly and correctly to actually get the hit detection and the bullet percentage damage towards your enemy. Um, so yeah, engage those targets but engage them correctly and also uh, you know use your brains pretty much. Um, so another thing that I found throughout the week while using the M249 is that the iron sights on this weapon are beautiful. Uh, I just love them. I do not know why, but I found that I could see a lot of my field of range very, very well without even using an ACOG or any scope for that matter. Um, but with that being said, any scope on this weapon seemed to suffice and work just as much as the iron sights. But I don't know. It was something with the iron sights that I really enjoyed with the M249. It kind of reminded me of the M1 Grand from World at War. I don't know. That might just be me. But if you kind of see the similarities, leave a comment in the comment section below. And let me know what your thoughts and opinions of it are. But let's touch base on what it got out of five for cookies. Okay, so out of five cookies, I'm going to give this weapon three cookies. Okay, you might be telling yourself or saying in rage on your, and slamming your keyboard right now, Tazzy, man, it's definitely worth them more than three cookies. I got to say that it, it isn't because the reload time kind of keeps that in your mind frame. It, you're kind of self-conscious of that. I found that I got out of my groove just because I knew that I had to keep looking at my ammunition count. And also I found that um, the bullet percentage damage behind the weapon didn't say stay true to, uh, to its percentage. So with those two little things, I found that I had to give it three out of five cookies, you guys. I'm sorry. Keep in mind, I did love using this weapon. I did get some high kill feeds, which I wasn't recording at the time, which always seems to be the case with Battlefield 3. If you do not record, that's when the craziest shit happens within the game. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's commentary. I'm going to let you guys know in this commentary that I will not be here for a week. I'm going to Iceland. So please leave a comment and like and rate this video if you did. And as always, I'm Tazzy Cookie, and I'm signing out. Blah, <laughs> blah,